Hey guys, so you might be thinking it's just a normal black and white picture frame, but it is currently playing a video at the rate of 24 frames per hour. Well, that was fun turning on these lights. <laughs> hey guys, so this right here is a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I bought this like three years ago, I think. And just when I was like cleaning out my closet uh, last month, I found this and I was just so guilty because I bought this for a sole purpose of using it on something useful, like uh, creating some interesting project. But well, that didn't happen. So. Basically, if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's uh, it's a computer. Like uh, you can see, like it has all the four USB ports, the wired Ethernet connection. It has a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and you also have a headphone jack. You have an HDMI output. You can just plug in your monitor, and you are good to go. Right now, I'm using a 32 GB uh, memory card, so it can go up to like 128, I believe, for this model. And you have this micro USB uh, for power supply. So this is just like a regular computer, but the fact that makes it different is its size. <laughs> I found an interesting project, which is a slow movie player. So the fact that it is slow is, uh, instead of 24 frames per second, it will be playing a normal movie, but it will be like 24 frames per hour. All right, for this project, I use the Raspberry Pi Model 3. A 32 GB micro SD which is already flashed with a uh, Raspbian operating system. I would highly recommend going 16 GB or higher so that you have enough space to store at least two or three films. I used a 7.5 inch e-ink display head for the Raspberry Pi which also comes with a controller uh, which is basically used to communicate between your Raspberry Pi and the display head. And the final thing was 5 volt 2.5 ampere power supply for the Raspberry Pi. Initially, I was thinking like what kind of movie I should be playing, like whether it will be a classic or like a really old movie, which will give the good vintage vibes and everything. So everything aside, I'll be playing uh, my own film, like uh, which I've created like last year, uh, The Alaskan Dream. So I'll be playing The Alaskan Dream on 24 frames per hour. So the blue thing right here is the e-paper driver hat. So when the e-paper display arrived, like uh, I was so excited to try this out. So <laughs> when I was doing the intro video, I already had uh, this uh, e-paper driver head, uh, which connects the screen into the Raspberry Pi. So let me get that screen. <laughs> uh, so this is the screen. <laughs> so whichever frame it last played, it just stays there forever. Like uh, uh, until and unless like you hook this thing up to your Raspberry Pi, it doesn't go away so i was doing some testing with my alaska film and if you can see this frame <laughs> so this is stuck right here because i removed it uh, when it was playing this particular frame so the article which i referred uh, to make this whole project is rather simple like if you are also new to this uh, raspberry pi thing buy all the things you need for this project and you are good to go like you don't have to do like much of coding also pretty simple yeah Let's get into it. see here I've already hooked it up uh, with this picture frame I had so I spray painted the entire thing black kept it aside for a few hours just to dry it out this is how it looks currently so I know like I did a pretty bad job of hooking up this uh, tape over this uh, pie and the frame but it's kind of working like uh, it certainly holds yeah so this is super tight interesting thing there was already a small cut on the frame so I didn't have to do anything on my own so this wire 
will just come out and I'll just hook this up and it's all set. Hey, after searching for a while, I found this. It's uh, the Loot Anime box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up and it also has a nice color to it like orange and you have this little cool thing inside. So this is the final piece how it looks like. <laughs> this is black, this is black tape and this is the back. I will link everything uh, in the description below whatever the links I referred from where I bought this pie obviously like three years ago but it was from Amazon and where I got this display head driver and the screen it all comes in a package so yeah so everything will be in the descriptions and it was pretty fun all right take care <laughs>